Hello and welcome to today's show. And I got to apologize. We're running a little bit late here. Actually, we're running four minutes late. That's even worse. I got to apologize because, you know, when you're doing live video, that's what happens. And what, what happens when we get ready to go live today? Facebook decided to log us out. And you know how it is remembering what was my password? Have you been there? <laughs> I know you have. Anyhow, we're here today to talk about part two, because um, last week we went into part one, but we'll get there in a minute. This is Coach Manny, and I'm live on selling. And we are sponsored by 90 Days to Your Success, how to get more done in 90 days than most people get done all year. So, why is there a delay between the time a lead gets generated and the start of the selling process? Have you looked at that? I mean, that's the big question. It's a number one question, and what can we do about it is even a further um, question we have to try to ask. Last week, we discussed the disconnect that exists out there between sales and marketing, which I know you you are focused on and you've corrected a lot of stuff over the last week have you not if you missed that uh please uh go back look at last friday's facebook live check us out it's also uh up on the podcast so don't worry you can get it any way you look at it so you know typically here's what happens jane's company spends a great deal of money and time and effort in developing a marketing process that creates effective leads for the sales team. And they have worked very hard to understand what a good lead is and how to generate it. And their marketing process is in high gear. Yet today, they had a meeting with the director of sales and marketing, and they found out that it took days and even weeks before the leads they generated were ever worked by the sales team. Now, needless to say, Jane was one unhappy camper because marketing is kind of her area. And you might say she was just a bit annoyed as, you know, rightfully so she should be, right? What good is a lead if it's that old? And the common answer, of course, is it's no good. So today, I'm going to try to address three ways that we can uh, work on that and make it more effective. Who am I? I'm Coach Manny, if you haven't joined us in the past, and I help business owners to double their sales by helping them build sales processes that excel. We do strategy, we do tactics, but more than anything, we do execution for results action-oriented programs that help you get things done. And the core of that, of course, is our 90 days to success process. We work everything in 90-day modules, and we get so much more done. So if you're struggling to get your business on track, if your sales team is off peak, or if you need to clean them up a little bit, or if you need to get a brand new one, or if you're a solopreneur and you need to get better at selling your own self, maybe you need to hire your first salesperson. Just make sure that you have the greatest chance of success by getting the best people involved. And that's what we do. We help companies like yours to get really good and effective. So, the question for today is really simple. Why is there a delay between the time a lead gets generated and the time it starts getting to be sold? What I would like you to do is share, uh, please share this um, out there with uh, anyone that you know so we can get them on as well. Uh, I am really excited and I wanna thank all of you for being on board. And I know we've had some late joiners here. So let me just repeat one more time. We're here today to talk about the delay between the time a lead gets generated and the time it gets sold. 
because that is a big issue. And as many organizations out there struggle with this, we got to find out why is it happening? You know, there were, this was a good lead and you didn't work it. This was a good lead and you're not following up. And you know, we're getting that battle, right? Between sales and marketing. And even if you're in a smaller organization where your sales and marketing people are, are the same person, they struggle with themselves, don't they? Why, why, why are we dealing with these issues? But we are dealing with those issues and we need to fix them. And so let's look at three strategic points today that will help you in this process. So the number one issue here is that the past leads have been terrible. Isn't that true? I mean, for those of you in the sales process out there, I know that's what you're saying. You're saying to yourself, yeah, that marketing department keeps talking about the sales leads they're giving us. And you know what? The stuff we get is junk. It's just no good. Uh, they're sending over stuff that's not really leads. They sent, they go somewhere, they find some names. They uh, Maybe they got some stuff out of a book, out of trade shows. Uh, maybe they got some people online, but they didn't ha take time to make sure they were the right people. They just, the leads are pure junk and we're just not getting anywhere with them. And that has led us to not pay any attention to the leads that are coming through. And I know that exists in a lot of organizations out there. And we got we to gotta get that stuff to stop so we can produce a better lead. Now, the second point that we get to is the CRM system either doesn't exist or perhaps it's not even being used by sales. And you don't know how many organizations I work with. And when I ask them, do you have a CRM system? Uh, absolutely. And is it being used? I think so. Hmm. Doesn't quite sound like the right answer to me or probably to you either. Um, CRM has to be being used by the sales process or by the sales people. You see, CRM is the driving force that moves a lead from creation of that lead or from finding it or from qualifying it, whatever marketing's responsible for, and it electronically moves that lead over to the sales process, and then the sales process begins. And if you don't have an effective way to get leads from creation to selling, then that's one of the big reasons the process isn't working. Um, and if your sales team isn't a board, it doesn't matter what CRM you have. It doesn't matter if it's the best CRM in the world. I mean, and what's the best CRM in the world? You know, we can debate that question all day long, and you can debate it with all kinds of people out there. But the point is that if the CRM is no good if it's not being used. Leads need to be in the hands of the salesperson within minutes of the time that hits your organization. If you're in an online environment, then you have got to be able to say, okay, somebody filled out a form, they, the lead came in, bang, it went to sales, and all the sales made the call, and all that happened within five minutes. Wow. What do you think? Uh, it's, it's an interesting process because I, I've been working with some clients and we've been, we've been going through that whole thing and what we've found in the research is that the space gets smaller and smaller because when you sit there and you have somebody who has an interest at that moment, you have got to get to them while they're hot. And if you don't have a way to make that happen, 
then they get cooled off real quick. So, number two. Now, let me just remind you, we are brought to you by our sponsor, which is 90 Days to Your Success, the new software product, which helps you to plan in 90-day modules. You, if you had a tool that could help you get things done faster, more consistently, with greater results, would you use it? What if, what if you, you could get over that procrastination and that slowdown that seems to always stand in the way of getting finished? How do you get more done in 90 days than most people get done all year? Well, I can tell you that with the 90 day success process, that's what happens. And it happens really for one simple reason. And that simple reason that it happens is because I can get my hands around three months. I can understand what I need to get done in three months. I can focus in on it. I can get it done and I can really feel success. When I'm looking out 12 months or some people have tell me two years we're going to get this stuff done, it gets really cloudy. And not just does it get cloudy, it gets put to the back burner. But when you work in 90-day modules, nothing gets put back to the, to the back burner because there is no back burner. Everything has to get done within that 90-day window. And that's all your work is the 90-day window. So check us out. Um, 90 days, 90 days to your success. Or just go to CoachManny.com and um, you'll see the uh, menu item there called 90 days to your success. By the way, by the way, just one more point and I'll go on to point three here is our, our little book, a hundred, a hundred words of wisdom, which is just a hundred sayings out there that we've been able to collect. Well, we've got that available to you right now. It's free, no charge. Just go out to the website and you'll see free book, a hundred words of wisdom. And I want you to get a copy. That's why we put it out there just so you can get a copy. So go for it. So let's go back to talk about that sales first. There's one more thing that I need to talk about today to make this happen. And that is that no one has defined what a sellable lead is. Hmm. Now just take a moment and take that in. No one has defined what a sellable lead really is. This is the, one of the great frustrations I had as a salesperson. What I think is a sellable lead has nothing to do with what's being sent me by marketing. Sales and marketing have to sit down and they have to define to the maximum so everyone's on the same page. This is a sellable lead. This is a lead that I, as a salesperson, can take and sell. If it's not at this point, and some of the things are, with technology and all the great marketing stuff you can do today, marketing can continue to work and work and move and get those leads into the right format, into the right process. And it's just amazing that by the time that lead comes to sales, sales can say yes, and no more is it, those leads aren't any good. It's like, do you have any more? I can remember one, one time, one time working for a company where I would say that these are the greatest leads. Give me some more. You know, they're like referrals, right? We like to get, just like we love referrals, we like to get those kind of leads from our marketing process. So what you think is a sellable lead has nothing to do with what may be a sellable lead to the salesperson. So sales and marketing, the first thing that we have to do, and we put it as point three, but it should actually be point one, is sales and marketing have to sit down and they have to define exactly 
what a sellable lead is and exactly what they need to do to get there and to make it real. So that is a key element to making all this work. So the keys to success, if I were to uh, wrap up what we tried to say here today, would be really simply this. Sit down with your sales and marketing teams and get them on the same page so that people understand this is what a lead is. People understand this, when it hits here, it hits you. You get an email, you get a text, whatever, and you know it and you can work it and it's a good lead and it's been defined and it's been refined and now it's sellable. Find out what you need to do to get your CRM being used by your salespeople. Because I'm going to tell you, it doesn't matter how much you're spending or how good a system you have. If the sales team isn't working with it, it's no good. Now, I'll grant you that sometimes some of those salespeople don't want to work with it. That's another issue that you have to deal with. The point is, if it's workable to get you what you want, they need to start working it, and let's find out why they're not. Uh, and, of course, through all this process, what is the key? To develop a process that delivers better leads. If you do this stuff, you will be on your way, as I always say, right, to doubling your sales. Now, I want to tell you, um, there's a couple tools out there that I wanted to show you. And one of the tools that will really help you is in defining your leads. And we have a tool out there, and I think I have that here. I'm looking on my notes here. If not, I'll add it a little bit later. Yeah. It's free courses, and here it is. One of the free courses, we have two lead courses out there. I encourage you, um, please get a copy of these free courses so that you can, um, and I'm going to put that lead right out of here. There it is. Okay. Now, what you can do with this free course is you can sit your sales team and your marketing team down, and you can work through this course. And by the time you're done with it, you will have defined exactly what a good lead is. Wow. Time's up again already, isn't it? It's been great. I hope that you'll take some time and take what we taught you last week, take what we've taught you this week, and really start getting that sales process and that marketing process working together so that that marketing process. Now, I got to keep reiterating with technology today marketing can pound and pound and pound until those leads are like just gold and then hand them over and then great sales team can then do their what they do best which is close the business you know sales people are terrible at, at doing that marketing work and marketing people they're good at what they do and if you put each into the process correctly, you are amazed at what you can get. Are you excited? Have you been watching our daily piece? We, we try to put it out at least four days a week. Uh, we were trying to get to five, and we may get there yet. But it just gives you a minute or two of some good stuff that we've been um, trying to share with everybody. Go out to the website. Please get the free book out there. Uh, it's just when you know when you sit down and you're like, oh, it's a tough part of the day, you open that little book up and you say, there's a saying and it's perfect for me. And it's also great to share. I share one every morning with my um, my children. And that's kind of how the book I put together, to tell you the truth. So um, have a great week. Get out there. Double your sales. Get your processes ready for 2019. going to be the best year ever. Thank you.